You are listening to The Off Switch. How to run your business so it doesn't run you. Written by Sarah Greener and narrated by Sarah Greener too. Chapter 12. Top Tips. Aim for 80%. I very rarely get 100% of what is in my calendar done. When I do get 100% of it done, I normally know I haven't scheduled quite enough and I'm letting myself off the hook for taking action. The next week, I need to add a bit more in. In the early days, I used to only get about 50% done. I was working so hard to keep up with my crazy expectations of what I could get done in a week. I had to learn I'm not superwoman. And if I wouldn't ask someone else to do it that fast, then I can't ask myself to do it either. Be honest with yourself. You can't make the half-hour journey to pick up the kids from school in 15 minutes. You never have and you never will. You're just punishing yourself when you do this. Schedule the actual time a task takes, not what would happen if everything went perfectly. 90 days. You've listened to the book and done the work, but you are not yet a planning expert. The magic comes in repeating the practice and adjusting what works for you over time. Give it 90 days. Make adjustments for you. This is the base process, not the whole process. You may find it better to plan two weeks at a time or a whole month because of the way your life or business works and then make small adjustments each week. Or you may have clients that book in your calendar who need time to adjust to booking in advance for you. For this example, you can still schedule your whole week. Just set those tasks that can be moved to accommodate clients to available to allow them to book over the top of that task. You can then reschedule the task that was in that time to another spot. Firefighting. But Sarah, I don't know when I'm going to need to fight a fire. I've heard this one too. I know you don't mean literally a fire, but one of those many things that pop up in your week that you didn't know were coming. A problem with a client that needs your immediate attention, an employee that wants your help right now, or a supplier that just must have a sales meeting with you this week. We had to solve this with an actual firefighter. My husband, Johnny, is a volunteer firefighter and never knows when his pager was going to go off. What he did know was that on average, he got called out during work hours, three hours per week. Johnny created three one-hour blocks of firefighting time that he put in his calendar every week from 1 to 4 p.m. on a Monday. When the pager didn't go off at that time, he would pull forward another block of work into that time, leaving him time later in the week to respond to callouts. Or, if he had a week with no fires, he could finish up early on Friday, take his wife for a date. I did the same with my team. Instead, I called it interrupting time. This was a block of time when my door was open for questions. The team learned that this was the time to pop in and discuss any burning questions they had or challenges they thought they needed my help to solve. Over time, the need for this will reduce, but it's a great solution for the firefighting we're doing in our business before hitting the off switch. Be spontaneous. Loving a great plan and being in control doesn't mean I don't step out of line and do things on a whim. In fact, we do more of this now than before we started being deliberate about our life and business. Now we can clearly see what is on the plan for Friday afternoon. We can make a deliberate decision to reschedule those activities, pick Scarlett up from school early and take a sneaky trip out on the boat. Or grab dinner and a movie with friends. The difference is that we deliberately decide to put our fun family time ahead of some less important activities. And it's always more exciting and fun when everyone else is working or at school, right? Hi, Sarah here. Just wanted to say stoked that you are learning this knowledge to ensure that you get to blend your business and your life together in the way that you want and learning stuff is good using stuff is better if you want to start using the knowledge that you got today as quickly as possible i want to give you a little bit of hands-on help head on down into the show notes there's a link there for my calendar you can get some one-on-one time with me so we can work on your business and your life and get it working just the way you want it now. I look forward to seeing you on that call and giving you the help to implement what you've heard here today into your business as simply as possible. Until then, stay moxie.